right so hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll specifically talk about a concept that allows you to share records with external users yes and that concept is called sharing set right this is different from sharing rules that we generally use for sharing uh, records to our internal users portal roles public groups and uh, other roles as well but sharing set is explicitly for granting external users access with the records that they should take a look at right so sharing set is a feature used for experience cloud to provide record access to specific users based on criteria and logged in users account and contact information right now if if you are uh, familiar with the uh, experience cloud implementation you know that you know any external user would have to be associated with an account it would have a contact id on the user record right and those information uh, are key identifiers uh, to distinguish what kind of records should be provided as uh, should be provided uh, within accessible range to those particular users right unlike sharing rules sharing sets cannot be assigned to internal profiles so the primary difference between sharing rules and sharing sets is that your internal profiles or your employee profiles or uh, standard profiles that you have on salesforce they can be assigned the sharing rules but they cannot be assigned sharing sets right this is explicitly for external users right and then there can only be one sharing rule I'm sorry, there should only be one sharing set per profile. Unlike sharing rules, you can have multiple rules defined to, you know, uh, and share it with share records to your profile. But here you can create only one sharing set per profile. Cool. And the last thing is the sharing sets are only available for customer community users, even though partner licenses are more expensive, right? So partner community license have a bit more of a, uh, scalability and usability and they are comparatively more expen expensive than customer community but are only available for uh, but sharing sets are only available for customer community users right so that's one uh, logistics information that you can keep keep in mind cool so those are the key differences right let's quickly take a look at how sharing set sets look in you know uh, salesforce what i have also done is i have uploaded an entire explained lecture on uh, uh, community cloud and you know experience cloud implementation that's a good 1.5 2 hour long video you can take a look at it and you can understand how to set up everything but in this video we'll quickly go through where do you see sharing sets and how can you configure it cool so to take a look at sharing sets what you need to go do is you need to go to digital experiences and under this particular feature you have something that's called settings right so here if we go to settings you should see down below you have everything regarding the experience cloud uh, all these uh, permissions and administrate administrator uh, check boxes and uncheck boxes but down below you have something that's called sharing sets right and you don't have currently any sharing sets defined let's click on the new button for instance and we get to start by creating a sharing set name so we just have to give it a label so let me just go ahead and say sharing set for quality users right for example i have a quality profile that is a community profile that is the name i want to give and i'll just put a description saying uh, this sharing set ensures quality users have the right kind of access to records owned by their parent account maybe i'm just trying to make things up right and then down below you see that you get to select a profile so what profile for example we have hospital community users which are under custom community license let's say this is the profile that should be part of the sharing set and we want to ensure the users who are part of this profile are able to access the records based on this particular criteria that will be defining below so i'll just take a uh, choose this profile and say this should be the selected profile if you have multiple profiles you can very well choose multiple but right now let's go with one example right and then down below what you are trying to create a sharing set that means you're trying to create a set of users who would be shared records of a specific object right what should that object be for example let that object be account cool so i am able to select account here and then if you notice here i can set up set up the con access as soon as i choose account i get an option to set up the access let's click on setup and now if you notice i have this uh, formula mapping or rather a mapping that i i am uh, prompted to you know fill up so what what does it say it says that you know the access mapping for account is something that you need to set but what do you need to do you need to grant the access for the record where the user and then you get to choose a field right and if you notice you have all relationships and owner owner related fields here right and then you need you have a matching identifier and you can just say you know if it matches this particular target accounts uh, owner or id and uh, 
if it matches then you should pro provide the access level as either read only or read write let's say that the user who's logged in the contact that he's associated to and the account that the contact is mapped to right that's the contact dot account matches what should be our target account the target account can be directly id you could say that you know if that account matches the target account id then share the account record simple right or else what if we want to compare something else let's say the account that they are trying to access you know is associated to the account owner's contact or maybe account owner's account so you have to figure out what kind of mapping do you want and how do you want to match the records right that's how you'll able to ensure that you know access to the users is given in the right way cool let's take one more example this might not have been clear let's let's try to say maybe i want to share the case object let's go to case and let's try to set up case cool now let's see what do we have in user i want to say if the user's contact matches the contact on the case record right or it matches the or it matches the whoever is the case owner the contact that he is assigned to it matches with that record in that case i want to give read write access right so so the examples might not make entire entire sense because we don't have a use case in hand right now you can take a look at the experience cloud recording for that but just to understand how sharing would work is like you know for example there are five records right and the user is associated with a contact and out of those five records the the case that the user is supposed to see the five out of the five cases there are three cases which have the contact same as the user's contact record in that case this user gets access to those three records make sense cool so this once you click on the update button this would create a sharing set and this would save it and the next time your hospital community users your hospital community users get into the community and try to access records what records would they see they would see the case records based on the configuration you define here which means they would be able to read and write cases wherein the contact of the case record is same as the contact of the user record right and what about the account records they would be able to search or you know see account records wherein the uh, owner the owner of the record and the owner of the rec record the account that pertains to the owner of the record matches the account record on the community side right in that case they would be able to see the account record cool so that is probably how you would be able to sh set sharing sets and you would be able to share it with uh, users and that is how basically your external users will be able to see records all right great i'll talk to you in the next lecture bye